It is my great honor to announce that Cape Canaveral Air Force Station will now become Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. And just down the road, Patrick Air Force Base will become Patrick Space Force Base. The primary mission of Patrick Space Force Base and Cape Canaveral Space Force Station is really to enable the launch activity for the Department of Defense. So Patrick is really the support hub for the military operations that happen day to day up here on the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station to allow for missions to take off safely and to orbit to serve those missions that they have. The Cape Canaveral Space Force Station is part of what is called the Major Range Test Facility Base, MRTFB. And there are MRTFBs, multiple ones, all around Florida. And one of those ranges is here, it's called the Eastern Range. That Eastern Range is made up of over 15 million square miles all the way out over the ocean that can be used for space launches, but can also be used for submarine ballistic missile launches. The Navy has a Naval Ordnance Test Unit. Their headquarters is here on the Cape. They will go out into the ocean. They'll pre-position a submarine to do a missile test here with using all of the capabilities of that Eastern Range to enable that to happen. When you consider how important space is to us as a nation, you have to go back and realize how important it is to defense. You've got communications, instantaneous communications with communication satellites. You've got early warning. You absolutely need that capacity. And then you've also got remote sensing. We have satellites on orbit that can tell what we need to be able to see around the globe, all for military purposes. Patrick Space Force Base and Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Get those rockets ready, get those payloads on top, and get those things to orbit to support our national security space missions.